You would have noticed the eclipse through Sunday night, early Monday morning. It also felt quite cool under the clear skies, but we have more coldness, especially towards the north, as a cold front digs south. But we're still in the harsh dry season, and we've been talking about that as we go through the next uh, few months indeed. In fact, uh, Tobago could feel the brunt of it with half its usual rains by the time it gets to May. But most areas in Trinidad and Tobago will be drier than usual and also warmer than normal. Possibility of you seeing those uh, hot spells of three days or more as you go through the next uh, few months. So, looking at uh, Tobago then, partly cloudy skies first thing in the morning. Maybe a few pre dawn showers are possible across the hillsides, but the rainfall will be in short supply the further north you head. So, if you're down towards Akinan, you may see a bit more cloudiness and some dampness first thing. But during the afternoon, still the sunshine will be around. For Trinidad along the east coast, the breeze will be pushing in. There's a bit of moisture around, a few pre dawn showers are likely and as you go through your morning as well there will be a few showers popping in and out under partly cloudy skies but generally this sunny spells will be there and they should begin to take control as you go through the latter half of the day. Down for San Fernando and Point Fortin, a misty start in some places. If you're in the countryside, you probably see that mist as you go first thing in the morning. A bit of uh, moisture is likely to generate a few showers as well, but overall there will be some sunshine once you get past mid-morning. So by night, 22 degrees Celsius will be the low for Trinidad, 24 in Tobago, 30 will be the high through Tuesday and possibly into Wednesday as well. Only chance of a few showers midweek and then that dries up as you go through Thursday and uh, Friday. Bear in mind that the dry season doesn't mean that you get no rain, this means you get less rain than the wet season, but overall you'll begin to see those uh, longer spells of a dry weather as we dig deep into the harsh dry season. Heading offshore, the moderate east northeasterly winds persist at 50 knots. There's a low chance of a few white caps coming around, but it's just a moderate uh, chop out there. Two meters out in the Atlantic, 1.5 meters through the Caribbean, the easterly swells of about nine seconds as you go through your Tuesday. And you go low tide at 11 a.m. and the next one at 5 p.m. is your high tide. Now across uh, the Western Caribbean, they've been watching all of those cold fronts uh, digging south and uh, yet another one is set to bring intense chill out towards uh, Hispaniola, out towards Haiti and also Santo Domingo by night. Could be seeing temperatures maybe dipping below 10 degrees Celsius in places, especially along the hillsides. Meanwhile, towards the east, it remains mostly sunny and you will notice a lot more sunshine to come over the next few days for the Leeward and at the Windward Islands. But down towards uh, Georgetown, there is also a good chance they will likely see a lot more sunshine there as they go through their day as well. So overall, not much is to change across the Eastern Caribbean, with Georgetown seeing a high of 30 degrees Celsius. But for us, just those passing showers amidst the sunny spells. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.